This is the fifth and final section of chapter eight on the binomial expansion, and this is on binomial estimation. So what is binomial estimation about? Well, it's actually using the binomial expansion to estimate powers, particularly large powers, by substituting in a value of x that is less than one. It's important that the value of x is less than one to enable our answer to be correct and to make sense. It's to do with something called convergence. If we choose a value of x greater than one, as we add more and more terms to our binomial expansion, it's going to diverge. The values are going to get bigger and bigger. They don't make sense. So you want a value of x less than one so that each term gets smaller and smaller and smaller and it does what we call converge to a value. Okay, example nine, find the first four terms of the binomial expansion in, in ascending powers of x, which we, what we'd expect of this one, one is x over four to the power 10. So one to the power 10 will be the first term plus 10 C1 times by one to the power nine times by negative X over four to the power one. So we leave it like that plus uh, 10 C2 times by one to the power eight times by negative X over four all squared. Now, how many terms do we need? The first four terms. So we've got one, two, three, one more. So plus 10 C3 times by one to the power seven times by negative X over four cubed. And I'll just put plus dot dot dot. And what we need to do now, as we normally do, is to simplify. So one is the first term. Then 10 C1 is 10 times by one is just 10 times by negative X over four is going to give us plus now we can write this as actually we'll write it like this for now and then we'll simplify in a moment now the next term uh, 10 c2 that is 45 so we'll have plus 45 that's going to get times by one so you write that in and then times by negative x over 4 all squared will be positive uh, x squared over 16 so i'll just write x squared over 16 like this and just one more term then you get to 10 c3 which is 120 times by 1 to the power 7 which is still 120 and then times by negative x over 4 all cubed which is going to be negative x cubed over 64 and then plus dot 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 now what we're going to do when we write these out i want to try and keep fractions where i can and write those in front of the x terms. I'll show you what I mean. So one, then the next term here, where I've got the negative x over four, I'm gonna write this as minus 10 over four x. Then the next term, I'm gonna write it as plus 45 over 16 x squared, okay? And then for the last term, I'm going to write that as minus 120 over 64 x cubed plus dot dot dot. Now some of these fractions can be simplified, so I'll probably change the 10 over 4 to 5 over 2. The 45 over 16 can't be simplified, so I'll just leave that as 45 over 16 x squared. And then the 120 over 64 that becomes 15 over 8 so minus 15 over 8 x cubed there are other ways of writing it but i personally prefer to keep these as fractions okay part b of this question it says use your expansion to estimate the value of 0 0.975 to the value of 10 uh sorry to the power of 10 giving your answer to four decimal places so how am i going to work that out well, let's have a look at what the question was. It was one minus X to the power four to the power 10. And I want to basically work out what is 0 0.975 to the power 10. So if we match this up, 
then it must mean that 1 minus x over 4 equals 0.975. So I want to rearrange this and work out, well, what's the value of x? So the value of x isn't 0.975. This, all of this is 0.975. I need to work out the value of x. OK, so if I move the x over 4 to the other side, I'll have x over 4. That will equal 1 minus 0 0.975. And that gives me a value of 0 0.025. So times both, both sides by 4. I will get a value of x as 1 over 10 or 0 0.1. So this is the value of x that I substitute into the expansion. So there's a little bit of work to do. Don't just put this in. That would be incorrect. All of this needs to equal all of this here. So we put 0 0.1 in. That's fine. Remember, we said we want values of x that are less than 1. It helps this to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So my estimation is going to be using this expansion here and replacing x with 0 0.1. So it'll be 1 minus 5 over 2 times by 0 0.1 plus 45 over 16 times by 0 0.1 squared minus 15 over 8 times by 0 0.1 cubed. Right, working out on my calculator, that gives me an exact fraction actually. It gives me 621 over 800. Pressing the SD button gives me 0 0.77625. Now, what were we asked to do in the question? We were asked to find an estimate to 0 0.975 to the power 10. And our estimate, this number here, to four decimal places, will be 0 0.7763 when it's rounded to the required number of decimal places. You should now be able to do exercise 8e on pages 168 to 169 of the textbook and then followed by the mixed exercise.